Anita Williams walked out of Onondaga Town Hall breathing a sigh of relief and trying to contain her emotions. I'm shaking. I am so excited. I'm very, very pleased. Very happy. That's because council members voted unanimously to ban exploring or drilling for natural gas or oil within town limits. Williams is just one of many neighbors outspoken against fracking. They walked out of tonight's meeting relieved and excited. Oh, I'm just ecstatic. Uh, some of us have been working for at least two years now to uh, help the uh, members of the board to understand how serious the question is of hydrofracking for gas in our town. The town council listened to neighbors' concerns and did their homework before voting. There has been extensive uh, external research and uh, I have a binder that is uh, very thick that will be part of the record tonight on the research that was done. But with hydrofracking already banned in New York State, you might be wondering why do local laws allowing or banning hydrofracking even matter? If Governor Cuomo decides to lift the ban on hydrofracking, the drilling will only take place in towns that have voted to allow it. So now that Onondaga has voted to ban it, hydrofracking will not be coming to this area. And knowing that bit of information makes neighbors happy and bring some relief. It's a real big relief. It's, um, it's, yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm so thrilled to see that our town is in favor of preserving our natural environment for its citizens. As for the rest of the state, all eyes are on the governor to see what he will decide. Reporting in Onondaga, I'm Katie Corrado.